It's Three Minute Thursday. Hey, welcome back to another Three Minute Thursday. My name is Gary, cybersecurity professional by day. And this week, I'm gonna teach you how to find things online that people don't want to be found or shouldn't have left exposed in the first place. You may have heard of this before, it's called Google dorking, but it does work in pretty much all search engines. They all have some sort of query language like this. Let's put three minutes on the clock and roll. If you're anything like me, you open up Google and you just type in whatever it is you're looking for. But there are other ways to search Google. Here's a search. It's gonna look in the titles of web pages. The title is the thing that shows up in the tab bar at the top. So this says the ultimate go. And a web developer can set the title to be anything they want. It's just a little string of text. But that's what it's looking for. It's gonna look for pages that have a title of, index of slash. Let's not worry about what that means right now. And it's gonna look in the text of the page that returns for anything with config.py. Little Python files, config files that contain things like usernames, email addresses, passwords, database names, sensitive stuff. And if we run that search, you will see an endless stream of things that you would think shouldn't be publicly available, but they are. And some of it is harmless. Some of it's people just developing little test web apps. You know, here's one index of hello world app. Hello world. We all know that's just what people make whenever they're building their first app. And there's the config file for it. But there was another page that stood out to me, this one. And if you click config.py, you can see here a whole bunch of really, really useful information. We've got secret keys. We've got the database URI, URLs, server names, app URLs, mail servers, passwords, email addresses. If this is real and it's live on the internet at the minute, this information is incredibly valuable. Not just for hackers who might wanna hack into some of these systems, but also for social engineers. The email address at the bottom is a person's email address. I checked them out, they're on LinkedIn. And here's a password that they've set up. And that password, although you can't see what it is, it is a season and a year. So for example, winter 2021. That's bad, that's bad practice for lots of reasons. Now, we could talk about this for days and days. Google dorking is huge. What I'll do is I will link below to this sheet, Google dorking cheat sheet 2023. It's nicely put together by someone called Andrew J. And they're all broken down into different sections. It's nice and easy to read. It's a really great place to start. And there's nothing wrong with Google dorking, okay? If you do the search, you click on some things, that's fine. Just don't take the username and the password and try and do something with it. This is just for reading the internet. So that's it, folks. The only way you're gonna learn is by practicing. So go check out this little page in the description and Google dork your face off. I'll see you next week.